guys, welcome and welcome back to our channel. Alright, so for today, we're going to be reading from Reading Explorer and Foundation 5A, The Dale Disease Detective, The Disease Detective, Detective. Alright, so without further ado, let's get into the reading. Six children were in the hospital. They were very sick, but the doctors didn't know what to do. They called Mr. Red. Richard Besser, an expert on strange illness illnesses, finding a cause. First, Dr. Besser needed to find a case cause of the illnesses. Illness. He looked for germs in the children's bodies. In very, in every child, Dr. Be Besser found the same type of bacteria. Bacteria. E. coli. I think that's what it's called. He then looked at the bacteria DNA. It showed him that this type of Ebola was dangerous. Dr. Besser knew E. coli could move from animals to humans. Had the children touched animals that carried the bacteria? Besser found another E. Omo case in the area where the children lived, but it wasn't enough. Besser then made a list of the sick children had what the six children had eaten. They had eaten cheese, apple juice, and fish. Uh, he then made a list of healthy children in the area had eaten. He they had eaten the cheese and fish, but not the apple juice. Case closed. Besser went to where the apple juice was made. He saw uh, he saw animals around the apple trees. He also saw the workers using dirty apples that was follow, fallen on the ground. More importantly, he saw the apples were not washed before the juice was made and that the juice was not heated. Doing these things would kill the bacteria. Besser then knew it. The, pe the apple juice that made the people, the children sick. Besser E. Colo's case was a hap has a happy ending. The children got better and what Besser learned that day now helps now helps keeps others safe all right so we're done with the reading part let's go to the words part all right so first we have kill kill is not a very good word well like not it's like not a bad word but it's not a good word either kill means you can hard to say it when you when you say you killed somebody, the person died, and you made them die. Or maybe they killed yourself, that means they themselves made themselves die. I have a bad point. So, kill is like the, the, like, kill is basically... Something that describes die but isn't die because die is die and kill is like what do you do to make someone die? That's kind of like kill and ground. So the ground is like when you're like when you have like a big house, for example, you inside a house we call it floor because it has like you know like floors right so here floor is floor is kind of like ground and ground is kind of like floor but ground is like outside yeah it's like an outside floor so that's what ground means and dirty is the exact opposite as clean if you know clean what clean means now clean means good and well you want a clean room well, your parents want a clean, clean room for you, and I think. And when you have like clean, it's the opposite of dirty. Like dirty, you're like muddy. You're filled with mud everywhere. Your hands are black, 
and your face is all scrubbed to the ground, like having beaten or anything like that. So dirty is that. That's what dirty means. All right, list. List is like when you make up the daily to-do list. So when I'm writing a to-do list, I usually just like say, like, what I have to do, and then check. Like that's kind of like a list. Like write a things, write things down. Like a things of things. Things of something, yeah, a list of something. Yes. So here is like a list of so, uh, it's not so sick. Children had eaten. So the list has cheese, apple juice, and fish. And then healthy on healthy list, it had cheese and fish, but not apple juice. So that's what a list is. Touched. Touched is here. I'm touching my hand right now. I'm touching my finger right now. My finger is touching my other finger. See, that's what touch means. Like, I'm touching this water bottle. I'm touching this mouse. This is what touch means. All right, now we have dangerous. Oh, dangerous is a well, dangerous word, you see. Dangerous means when you say, like, Oh, that's dangerous! Don't touch that. Like a poisonous ivy or a poisonous mushroom. If you eat a poisonous mushroom, it's gonna be very, very dangerous. And when you like go and do those like sports, I'm really scared of them. I just can't. I just don't have the. I'm not fierce, you say. I'm very scared of things, so yeah. But some people are very fierce, and they are like able, and they're like, okay, I can do it. I can do it. Don't worry, I can do it. Like that kind of like, dangerous sports. Yes, like flying through the air, or like parachute, or skydiving. Yes, those are kind of like dangerous sports. Yep. Or when you say it's dangerous, it's like too high for you when I climb like a tree. When people say it's dangerous, all right. Next we have illness. Illness means sickness. Sickness equals illness. So ill equals sick. One is like British accent. One is American one. So illness very easy. It is sickness. Sickness equals sickness. So illness equals sickness. And then we have expert. Expert is professional. Professional. If you don't know what professional means, like when um, let's say, oh look, she is a professional at drawing. Like she's an expert at it, which means she's really good at it, and she knows. How to do it well, and she has like all of the experience. That's what expert means. It's basically a professional. All right, so we're going to done. We're currently done with our paragraph plus our words. And well, I think that's it for today. And I'll see you next time. Bye.